recorded my first record was I want a hippopotamus for Christmas. Only a hippopotamus will do. <laughs> and uh, I kind of took the song and did some things with it that that were different than what, you know, they they had intended, but I think it turned out good because it, it was a march. It is a march. And it's a marching band. And so I kind of got into that. And, uh, you know, the I want it, you know, that was kind of my thing. And uh, then uh, stuttering on the hippopotamuses, that wasn't in there. <laughs> and I, I didn't know if they would like that or not. And Mitch Miller said, keep it, keep it. I like that. <laughs> I want a hippopotamus for Christmas. Only a hippopotamus will do. Is that enough? <laughs> Don't want a doll, no dinky tinker toy. I want a hippopotamus to play with and enjoy. I want a hippopotamus for Christmas. I don't think Santa Claus will mind to you. <laughs> I think that's about it. <laughs> the song started, you know, taking off and became the biggest Christmas hit that year. It was 1953. Ah! <laughs> oh, I can't believe it was that long ago. But anyway, I was only 10. Do the math. And uh, so, you know, the, uh, the hippo song was really uh, being played, everybody was hearing it, and uh, uh, that's how the, the fundraising to buy a, a, a hippo for the Oklahoma City Zoo came about. They thought, wow, let's tie in with that hit song. And uh, so, you know, they started running ads in the paper and telling kids, hey, you know, let's send in your nickels and dimes and uh, we can raise enough money to buy Gala a hippo and it was called the Gala PV Hippo Fund. <laughs> the hippo fundraising drive really became a huge event and organizations got on board. Um, uh, you know, they, they collected money, sent it in, but mostly it was kids sending in their nickels and dimes and quarters. And uh, by Christmas Eve, uh, you know, Matilda, which was the hippo's name, she was in the uh, Central Park Zoo, and uh, they, they, uh, she was waiting there, and uh, the money came in, and they were able to buy Matilda and ship her in on Christmas Eve, and she arrived at the airport Christmas Eve morning and quite a media event. We went uh, with cameras and a lot of fans were there and uh, greeted Matilda. She came in a crate and I was the first one to peek in and see her and it was quite exciting. Uh, and then we went to the zoo and we got to see her launched into her new hippo quarters and she seemed very happy. You know, I want a hippopotamus for Christmas. Oh, my hippopotamus will do. Sings better than a hippopotamus is all I want. And then there were a few other places, but uh, The mostly, stuttering, tell me about that. Huh? The stuttering part on the hippopotamus. Oh, yeah. Well, it, it, it wasn't in there. It's just no crocodiles, no rhinoceroses. And I put no crocodiles, no rhinoceroses. <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, hip, and this has, you know, like, duck bill platypus and all of this stuff that we didn't put in there and uh, but it, you know it just made it more singable and to fit the arrangement better uh, and i love the fact that mitch miller made it a march because uh, when i would go out and perform in you know public appearances and sing the hippo song uh, during the instrumental break I would march around, you know, I'd go, and I would try to look like a hippopotamus, you know, I'd, I'd stick my tummy out, and I hunt it down to Potamus for Christmas. <laughs> In that march was, how many Christmas songs have you ever heard that are a march? You know, like a marching band. 